We present our paper, Complex In-Hand Manipulation via Compliance-Enabled Finger Gating in Multimodal Planning, authored by Andrew Morgan, Kai Yu Hong, Bowen Wen, Kosos Bekris, and Aaron Dollar. In this work, we focus on extending the capabilities of robot within hand manipulation through finger gating, as this is a task we as humans perform often to enlarge the hands available workspace. Finger gating is inherently a multimodal problem. This means that the motion of the object is constrained to different manifolds according to the current contact configuration. Formally, we develop a planner that can rotate objects from any start configuration to a goal configuration in the rotation group SO3. We show that this task requires at most three actions about two extrinsic rotations. We illustrate this concept here on a cube. From this approach, we provide a complete solution to this problem by fast online replanning via a low latency 6D pose object tracker. The tracker utilizes RGBD data from an external camera calibrated to the robot's environment and is robust to occlusions associated with finger gating. We utilize the open source Yale Open Hand Model Q, a sensorless underactuated hand that is equipped with four two link fingers and four total actuators. The design of this hand enables us to create four different modal actions two rotational modes along the Z and X axes, and two translational modes along the Z and Y axes. We utilize these modes to control our sequence of planned actions. The passive adaptive properties of underactuation are advantageous for our multimodal planning approach, as the system is able to reconfigure to variations in the object pose upon regrasping. This creates a notion of safe modes, which allow us to accelerate planning while largely disregarding modal transition regions. The capabilities of the hand also allow us to perform tasks with perturbations, such as changing the direction of gravity during manipulation. We test our planning solution with various tasks. First, due to the online replanning via object tracker feedback, we are able to recover from undesired and unmodeled perturbations. Here, the rotation and translation of the object are both perturbed during the manipulation sequence. The planner must then adapt online and continue its control sequence accordingly. We showcase this ability by starting from cube face B and transitioning to cube face C. The repeatability of our planned trajectories is also evaluated. The goal of this task is to transition the orientation of the object from face A to face B then translate the object 1.8 centimeters along the negative y-axis. We note in our evaluation that over eight trials, object trajectories are very similar and all reached the desired goal configuration. The robustness of our method is further underscored by completing a long trajectory of goals. Here, the task is to reach cube faces A, B, C, D, E, and then F once again, all within the same sequence. During this process, note the recovery phases of the system where the object is either pulled back up into the grasp or pushed down from the grasp. We plot the online roll, pitch, and yaw rotations of the object in the upper left corner. Ultimately, this video showcases the dexterous capabilities of our system. And finally, we showcase the transferability of our method by manipulating different object geometries to rotational goal configurations. Namely, we focus on a multicolored sphere, a toy car, a plastic duck, and a plastic bunny. Notably, the bunny and the duck were the most difficult to manipulate due to their non-convex geometries, and the sphere required a significant amount of manipulation in order to precisely reach the goal configuration. Note that the model used to train the object tracker for the toy car was 3D scanned while the others are proper CAD meshes. This work exemplifies a promising approach of vision-based control for multimodal within hand manipulation. Thank you.